Welcome back movie fans to VHS Bootleggers. Today I've got another selection of five Blu-ray steelbooks from my own personal collection to show you and just discuss briefly. Again, they're a selection that don't really need much discussion and anyone watching this will more than more than likely have seen them all. Probably as many times as me, which is too many. They're all Schwarzenegger films, so they're all action films apart i'm guessing apart from his few comedy roles that's a, that's a genre that generally they always are Schwarzenegger. so i guess we can class them as blokey film blokey type films but not 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 always i know a lot of women do like Schwarzenegger films but certainly lean towards more the you know blokes type films in general these are from his what i consider his golden era of acting which is 80s mid to late 80s just going into the 90s briefly as well so we'll crack on with the first one total recall from 1990 so this is a triple play one this is known as the ultimate recall edition this one so you just got the car the reason why i've kept that cardboard sleeve is because it's actually got what i'm guessing is a normal cover um and then we've got this wonderful image on the back where he's in the in the actual um, what's it called the transporter I guess whatever it, whatever the machine is it takes him forwards um, but this is fab fabulous it really is a bit more about the movie then so directed by Paul Verhoeven also starring Sharon Stone uh, we've also got who else is in as Michael Ironside and Ronnie Cox, which is also an actor that's in one of the, another Verhoeven uh, film, Robocop. Uh, so it's a gen as, as I said earlier, you'll know the, the premise, it's a futuristic science fiction. So at the time, this had a budget of between 50 and 60 million dollars, which was one of the most expensive films ever made. It took an absolute staggering 260, or is it 281 million dollars at the box office? It's got absolutely fabulous sets that were created for this movie. So if we just open up, what we see is we've got the double disc, I believe. Let me just double check this. Yeah, so it's a DVD and Blu ray combo included. We've got the digital download again there. Um, and then we've got this booklet that shows you some, some stills of the film um, behind the scenes. But like I say, yeah, some of the sets were just absolutely incredible. They really were. And, and likewise with the makeup involved. It was just fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So yeah, really happy to have that in the collection. Really happy. Super cool. I haven't even seen the, the the modern the modern remake of it. I think with Colin Farrell, I haven't even watched that. It's just pointless. It won't be won't be a patch on that. I can safely say. Moving on, jumping back a little bit now to 1984. James Cameron, the original Terminator. Now this particular version of the Steelbook, I'm not sure. I'm guessing this is a European one. Uh, I will look in trying to just do a bit of research as to which variant it is and I couldn't really find the tend to be with this cover uh, either German or French I believe but the ones I saw had a different reverse or re back cover on so I'm not too sure not too sure at all um, it's just standard pretty standard inside we do get a nice little booklet um, so looking at that actually now I've just said that this is French, yeah, French. Sort of. So it probably is the French one, after all. But that is, it's just awesome. I mean, a lot of these Schwarzenegger steel books you can get in so many different variants now. But as I've said before, they, certainly from my point of view, it's to keep the the price um, certainly under thirty quid, ideally under twenty. I think the majority of these that I'm showing today have had 
I've definitely got for under 30, probably under 20. This one I've had ages anyway, I've had this a few years. Um, but brilliant movie. Um, I've said before, chatting to the guys, it's such a tough call between this and Terminator 2, but for me, this just pips it purely on the basis of it being a darker, a darker movie, slightly less commercial, obviously minuscule budget in comparison. I think this had a 6.4 million budget, took 78.5 million at box office though, but in comparison, production wise, just, you know, pulls, pulls apart. But, you know, aside from that, I just think it has that darker, more sinister edge to it over part two. Um, and it's so nostalgic to me. One of, my, one of the first sort of adult adult movies that my dad let me watch when I was a kid. So I'll always, you know, always held in, in good memory for that. But fantastic. What a cover. What a cover. And obviously we can't have one with that too. So we've got this Terminator 2, which is the... I believe this is known as the Skynet edition from 1991. No booklet, sadly. I don't know if it does come with it or not, but we've got that that Schwarzenegger on the back. Um, and then... Is that T-1000 or is it actually meant to? I'm not too sure, to be honest. Probably meant to be. Yeah, I'm not too sure. So obviously, like I say, a huge budget this time around. So 100, 100 million and took a staggering 520 million at box office. It's one of the highest grossing adult or R-rated movies of all time, this. Um, obviously, had Robert Patrick comes into the into the four playing as a T one thousand. Absolutely fantastic, though it really is. It really, really is. Um, yeah, I mean, most of these most of these five films are probably my top ten favourites, or certainly top twenty movies of all time. Moving on to the next one, another oh, absolutely awesome movie, Predator from nineteen eighty seven. Uh, directed by John McTiernan, also starring fabulous Carl Weathers and Jesse Ventura. Tiny budget on this one in comparison, 18 million, to just, just shy of 100 million at box office. Fabulous film, again, really nostalgic to me. Um, you get the, it's the Blu-ray DVD combo again. Carl Weathers there. And then you've got that cover on the back. I think this is pretty much the the standard UK uh, steelbook. Again, so many different variants. Many, many much cooler than this one, if I'm being honest. But can get a bit pricey. So just to own it in steelbook will do for me without going without going silly. I mean, that's the thing with a lot of these. You can... So many different sort of rarer variants. You're talking up upwards of 50, 60 quid and beyond in many cases. So you've just got to watch it, keep that price down, price down. So another fabulous, fantastic one there. Uh, and the last one, which is sealed, we're going to unseal it. So it's the absolutely awesome Running Man. I haven't owned this too long. I think Big Mike put me onto this one. Um, let's just see if we can split it open let's chat about it while I do that so directed by Paul Michael Glazer also starring Jesse Ventura as Captain Freedom and who remembers Jim Brown as Fireball he's still, still with us 84 years old the ex pro NFL footballer so yeah he plays Fireball uh, this is a budget of 27 million and took 38 million at box office. It, at the time, it only had mixed reviews. This, not everyone, not everyone loved it. If I remember rightly, I remember it coming out. That's all. I'm sorry, 1987. Yeah, I do remember that. Nice embossed cover to it with Arnie on the front there. 
Um, let's look at this. Look at the artwork inside. Absolutely fantastic. And then you've got that on the back, all the characters there. Yeah, super cool. Super cool. I'll keep, again, I'll keep this cardboard insert um, as it does sort of protect it edgewise because I'll need to get a few more box protectors anyway, but I'll just keep that with it for now. So, yeah, so it's got some uh, description on the back anyway. So, yeah, it's worth keeping them. So yeah, that's the five guides. There's still many more by Schwarzenegger I want, such as Commando, Conan the Barbarian, amongst others. But I just, I just love his movies. I really, I've always, I've always loved them, and they definitely all just pick up and watch at any point. They never get old. Super cool. I love whenever I get a chance on a, you know, although being a rarity these days, but on a Friday or Saturday night and just have a few beers and watch an easy movie. Many times just shove Predator on, uh, and any of them, any of them at all, they're just so easy to watch and have a few beers to. So yeah, I'll leave it at that, guys. Thanks ever so much for watching. We will be back very shortly with a movie review of some sort. We're just deciding which movie that will be. We will be back very shortly, so please tune in for that one. Um, and I'll be back with even more Blu-ray steelbooks to show you. Take it easy. Keep watching.